morning, welcome to the principal's message, the first one of term four, and I'd like to introduce to you Isabella, Isaac and Tom, and I had the privilege of travelling to France and Germany with these good people on the International Round Square Conference. Let's have a look at some of the happy snaps from our pre-conference tour in France and then the conference in Germany. I hope you enjoy them. Can you tell us a little bit about why you chose to go on the International Round Square Conference? Maybe Tom, if you start. Yeah, well, obviously I study German at school and I um, went on an exchange to Germany last year. And so when I found out um, <coughs> about um, the Round Square Conference in Germany, that obviously sparked my interest. Um, but also I went on a junior conference um, in um, year eight. Or a so where, where was that regional conference, Tom? That was in Bunbury yeah. in Western Australia. And I knew just the, I loved that conference and all the new people I met and friendships I made. So. Yeah. Bella, what, what was your reason for choosing to go on the conference? Well, like Tom, I also did the regional round square conference in 2014 and we went to New Zealand and yeah. it was like one of the most amazing experiences ever. So I thought when I heard that it was in Germany, um, that I would apply for it because I had so much fun on the one in New Zealand and I thought it would be. The amount of people that you get to meet and the experiences that you make with people and then staying in touch after the conference and the things that you get to do on the conference are just really, really good experiences. Isaac, um, why did you choose to go on the conference? I thought it's going to be a great opportunity to meet a whole bunch of different people and to learn about different cultures. Yeah. And, and what was the highlight for you personally about the, about the pre-conference and the conference? It's a really tough one. It's a bit hard to go past having dinner on the Eiffel Tower, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that, was, that was pretty impressive. Bella, you know, what were the highlights for you? Uh, like, I was like, dinner on the Eiffel Tower is really good, but the amount of friends that I made at the conference, and I'm still talking to half of them through social media and... Lifelong friends. Yeah. I made a lot of friends from Canada and a few friends from Florida in the US. A girl from Kenya, a girl from South Africa, the UK, they're everywhere. Yeah, and I, I suppose it really emphasises for us, doesn't it, that the world's a lot smaller these days and social media has meant that you can stay in touch with people. Tom, um, for you, what was the highlight for you? Well, there were lots of highlights, like the things just mentioned, but I also really enjoyed the keynote speakers yeah. and I thought they, each of them had their own message and their own story. And so who was, your, who was the keynote that sort of, you know, really connected with you? Um, uh, there was the keynote speaker on the last day and he sort of um, mentioned lots of philosophic, philosophical questions that um, I'd actually studied in philosophy at yeah, school yeah, and sure. so I sort of could relate 
to a lot of what he was saying. So I found that really interesting. <clears throat> yeah. And on the adventure day, you went sailing, didn't you? Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about, about the sailing experience? Um, so we went on a traditional sailing boat <clears throat> and we went out onto the Baltic Sea and it was really, really fun because the waves were massive and the boat was yeah. going. For your service day, you did a range of things, didn't you? Tom, what did you do for the service day? Um, I um, was at a talk and it was about um, service leadership. So there are two um, separate ideals in Round Square. But it was um, saying that to be a good leader, it's how you mix those two together. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not separate pillars. They're actually, um, you can lead by serving and um, helping other people. It's not about just leading. And we were a bit disappointed for you, weren't we, on the service day, because the school actually has its own fire brigade. <coughs> and uh, we didn't quite get manage to get you on the, the fire brigade service day. What did you two do for your service day? We went to the beach and we cleaned up rubbish and then we went um, back into the warm inside because yeah, it was really, really it cold was and windy. pretty chilly, wasn't it? And we spoke about the types of plastic that gets put in the ocean and how it never fully dissolves. Next year, next year, the International Round Square Conference is in South Africa. Um, what, what advice would you have for younger students who might be considering going on a regional conference or on an, or an, or an international conference? What would you say to them? First of all, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely it's, um, do it. It's well worth it. Uh, and um, if, you, if you do it, go with an open mind so you can take the most out of it. Bella, you've been on a, a couple of conferences now. Yeah. What advice would you give to people? Uh, definitely do it. It's one of the most amazing experiences. It makes me so happy just to go on them, make friends, the amount of people I get to meet. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And Tom, you, you've really travelled a lot, haven't you? And you, you've done some really interesting things outside Round Square, particularly with the exchanges. Um, what sort of skills do you think you've learned, not just from going on the international conference, but you know, travelling away from home for eight weeks and living in, you know, living in an exchange environment. What do you think that that's helped you learn? Yeah, well, I've had to just adapt to so many, like, different situations. I think also when I went to Germany, um, my German wasn't very good at all, so I got very good at listening. And on this conference, I think I was, well, I tried to listen to other people and what they had to say and yeah, try and understand yeah. the different... Um, different ways they do things. So I hope you've enjoyed having a bit of a conversation with these good people about um, Round Square and the International Conference. We've got a group of primary school students heading to Malaysia in a couple of weeks' time for Junior Round Square Conference. And as I said, next year the International Round Square Conference is in our South Africa. So Round Square is a, a really important part of our life here in terms of giving our students an international perspective. And if you're interested in exploring Round Square, there's lots of people at the school that you can talk to and these people here are um, some of the people who would be really well worth talking to. So thanks very much and um, I hope you've had a, enjoyed having a little bit of a chat about Round Square. <laughs>